The Falk V-Class sets a new standard in gear reducers. Extreme industrial applications demand a speed reducer that performs every day, no exceptions. With features that extend life and increase durability and reliability, the V-Class is engineered to deliver power under the toughest conditions. Whether your business is coal, hard rock mining, power generation, cement and aggregate, or pulp and paper, V-Class will dependably deliver in your most rigorous production applications. The Falk V-Class utilizes carburized, case-hardened and ground gears with optimized bevel and helical tooth forms to deliver smooth, efficient torque transmission by ensuring full contact under load. The gear sets are ground to AGMA Class 10 or better quality levels to deliver maximum power in a compact, optimized package. Although minimized, heat must be dissipated from the torque-dense V-Class unit. In most cases, the V-Class cooling features are sufficient to maintain proper oil temperature. These cooling features include cast cooling fins on the ductile iron housing surface and oil feed passages in the housing to better circulate oil. In circumstances with extreme thermal challenges, Falk offers the Duraplate patent pending cooling system. The Duraplate is a self-contained cooling system integral to the gear unit. Duraplate simplifies installation and minimizes the risk of damage. It will typically more than double the thermal capacity of the gear reducer. This will often allow the unit's thermal ratings to equal or exceed the mechanical ratings. Powered by a shaft-driven pump mounted on an intermediate gear shaft of the gearbox, Duraplate requires no external power nor a water supply. Only a shaft-driven fan on the high-speed shaft maintains air circulation. This highly reliable configuration requires no additional motors or electrical equipment installation. No plumbing for water is required. The gear unit, cooled by the Duraplate cooling system, offers simplified installation, saving time and maintenance from the first day. Stainless steel clad hoses provide durable and protected oil circulation for a long, trouble-free life. The Duraplate heat exchanger is also heavy gauge stainless steel to prevent corrosion despite extreme operating conditions, and it resists damage from the inevitable bumps it will receive in industrial service. When the gearbox is operating, the shaft-driven pump will draw oil from the gearbox sump continuously. The gear lubricant is delivered to a thermally actuated valve. When the V-Class is operating without need for additional thermal capacity, the oil is directly returned to the gearbox. However, when the V-Class oil temperature exceeds approximately 140 degrees Fahrenheit, the valve begins to redirect the oil to travel through the Duraplate heat exchanger. The internal geometry of the heat exchanger causes the oil to travel back and forth across the heat exchanger until it reaches the far side. The shaft fan mounted on the high-speed shaft of the gearbox ensures that heat is rapidly drawn off of the heat exchanger. Once the oil has traveled through the Duraplate heat exchanger, it has been sufficiently cooled for return to the gearbox sump. Now, let's take the Duraplate for a drive we'll run the gear reducer under load from a cold start to a thermal steady state to observe the Duraplate cooling system in operation and measure its performance. We will also observe the thermal imaging of the system to see how it changes and understand the thermal gradients. Note that the oil temperature at the sump is initially at ambient temperature. As the gear unit continues to run, we see the temperature of the sump oil rise for this demonstration, we've replaced the stainless steel clad hoses with clear ones to observe operation. Note that oil is not yet flowing to the heat exchanger. The thermally actuated valve is still returning the oil directly to the sump. Now we see the oil temperature of the sump approach 140 degrees Fahrenheit, where the valve begins to direct oil flow to the Duraplate heat exchanger. The valve changes the flow and now the Duraplate system is active. We can see from the thermal imaging that we are beginning to generate some heat in the unit and the Duraplate is beginning to warm as well. You can see from the difference in the temperature gauges at the heat exchanger input and output that the Duraplate is extracting significant heat from the oil. 
Now, we'll run to steady state. From the final difference in temperature readings, we see that the DuraPlate cooling system decreased the oil temperature by 25 degrees Fahrenheit before returning it to the sump. We also see that the temperature of the sump oil has stabilized at 153 degrees Fahrenheit. From the thermal imaging, we can observe the gradients and hot spots within the V-Class gear unit. Looking at the heat exchanger, we can also see how the oil cools as it flows through the DuraPlate system. By using a fogger, we can observe the airflow pattern that the shaft-driven fan creates around the V-Class gearbox and DuraPlate heat exchanger. This forced air serves to stabilize the cooling performance of the system, rather than depending exclusively on wind or ambient conditions. How might the DuraPlate cooling system perform if the shaft-driven fan were to become damaged or obstructed? We'll investigate this by removing the fan from the system. Now the system is running without the benefit of forced airflow. We'll run the test again to a steady state condition to see how thermal performance has been affected. The thermal imaging shows that we are already starting with a warm gear reducer and DuraPlate system. We'll see how this changes without the fan. With the shaft-driven fan operating, the DuraPlate heat exchanger reduced the oil temperature between its input and output by 25 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature change without the fan is currently only 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we'll run to steady state again. From the final difference in temperature readings, we see that the DuraPlate cooling system decreases the oil temperature by 4 degrees Fahrenheit before returning it to the sump. We also see that the temperature of the sump oil has stabilized at 184 degrees Fahrenheit. From the thermal imaging, we can observe how the gradients and hot spots within the V-Class gear unit have changed relative to when forced air was available. Looking at the heat exchanger, we can also see that the oil is cooled less as it flows through the DuraPlate system. So we see that the DuraPlate cooling system is a simple and effective way to add additional thermal capacity to a V-Class gear reducer application. How does it compare to conventional forced air oil cooling? Note that the DuraPlate system is integral to the gear unit, barely extending the required space envelope. A separate cooler must either attach to the gear unit or have its own mounting base. This adds cost to both transport and installation. It also increases the likelihood of damaging the cooling unit during handling. Also note that the DuraPlate heat exchanger is heavy gauge stainless steel. Similarly, the hoses are protected by braided stainless steel. The DuraPlate system will resist damage from inevitable bumps in an aggressive industrial environment. A conventional cooler, however, tends to have a delicate heat exchanger, similar to an automotive radiator. This makes the heat exchanger much more susceptible to damage and clogging. The conventional radiator also has its own electric motors to power the oil pump and fan. In addition to being potential points of failure, these components require additional electrical wiring and equipment, separate from the power supply for the main motor for the application. This increases cost and reduces reliability of the system. Although optimized through advanced technology and understanding of gear systems, the DuraPlate system is simple, minimizing parts and maximizing reliability. And finally, the stainless steel components of DuraPlate will have a long operating life even in corrosive environments.